Welcome everyone to this video by Learn Civil Engineering, where we will be learning about connections between elements within structures, including beams, columns, slabs, and walls, to name a few. Structures are usually composed of different elements connected to each other. Just like we have seen how various supports can be used to transmit different forces and moments, we can use a variety of connections to carry forces and moments. The fundamental connections include fixed, hinge, shear, and axial connections, and we will now learn about the displacements and rotations that each connection allows, and therefore also the forces and moments transmitted. We will follow this up with some real-life examples of each, and how we can simply model them for analysis. Fixed connections, also known as moment connections, do not allow any displacements or rotations between elements, and therefore they transmit both forces and moments in any direction. Hinge connections allow rotations between elements and therefore transmit forces but not moments. Shear connections allow displacements perpendicular to the elements, transmitting shear forces and in general they don't transmit moments. And finally, axial connections allow displacements parallel to the elements and therefore transmit forces perpendicular to the elements and moments in any direction. Each connection can be represented with the following symbol which we will look at now with some examples. Here we can see an example of a fixed connection in real life. The beam is connected to the column such that it cannot rotate or be displaced. You may have noticed from before that there was no symbol for fixed connections, and this is because when drawing two elements joined by a fixed connection, we just draw them together. For example, with our column and beam, we draw the column as a vertical line and then the horizontal line for the beam is just drawn attached to the column, like so. This is a real-life example of a beam-to-beam -beam hinge support. The beams are connected such that no displacement can occur, however, they can rotate. Using the symbol for a hinge support, this example can be simply modelled like so. Another example of a hinge connection are these beams connected to this column. Again, the beams are connected to the column such that no displacements can occur, but rotation can. For this second example, we can model it like so. And note here that the symbol is drawn slightly off from the column. If we were to draw the hinge at the intersection like this, it would indicate that two separate columns are being connected as well as the beam, which is not the case. So do keep this in mind when modelling structures with connections. An example of what a shear connection looks like in real life is this beam to column connection. Although it may look similar to a fixed connection, the plates used for shear connections typically are not welded and therefore do not resist much against moment forces as they are allowed some looseness to rotate. Using the symbol for shear connections, our example can be modelled like so, noting again that the connection has been drawn slightly offset from the column. Finally, this beam-to-beam -beam connection is a real-life example of an axial connection. The beams are connected such that they can only be displaced a small amount parallel to the beams. The connections transmit moments in any direction and also shear forces. And axial connections are most commonly found in beam-to-beam -beam or column-to-column -column connections. Using our symbol for axial connections, this example would be modelled like so, where the vertical line is the column and the two horizontal lines of the connected beams. So now we have introduced the variety of connections we may come across in structural engineering, and we have a good understanding of the abilities for each of them to transmit forces and moments, and we know how to simply model them for analysis. This has been a video by Learn Civil Engineering. If you have found this video useful at all, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. If you do have any remaining questions, or would like me to cover a specific topic, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.